Hey, it's Sherry here from SincerelyJean.com, and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to use the Google AdWords Keyword Planner for planning keywords and blog posts. So go ahead and click on Keyword Planner, and then it's going to come up, and then go ahead and click Search for New Keywords Using a Phrase, Website, or Category. So in this box, you're just going to type pretty much the subject of your blog post. So let's just keep it simple. We'll do tomato soup. And go ahead and scroll down and click Get Ideas. This is going to tell me um, how many average monthly searches and what the competition is on that focus keyword and also similar keywords that people have searched for in Google as well. So there's a lot, There's there could be hundreds of keywords that pop up. So we need to sort through all this data so we can get the best focus keywords. So what I like to do is go here, click download, and then um, if you prefer Excel, click Excel, but if you prefer Google Sheets, click Save to Google Drive. I really like Google Sheets, so I'm gonna have it go there. Click download, and then as you can see, it has over 700 results, so we're gonna sort through all of this. Open file. All right, so it pulls up all of that data. All right, so from G over, we're not gonna need those. But let's go ahead and select those first six columns. And then we're just gonna go up to data, sort range, go ahead and, ahead and click data has header row. It's just gonna take the first um, row uh, the header from each of these columns. And then right here, we can tell it how we want it to sort. So we want it to sort by competition, this competition column right here. So go ahead and click competition and then click sort. Okay, so if we go back into the keyword planner, all it tells us is low, medium, and high in that competition bracket it doesn't really give us much more information than, than that. But the cool thing about when you export it is that it tells you exactly like which ones really have the lowest competition. So anywhere from zero to um, 0.33 is considered low, 0.34 to 0.66 is considered medium, and then 0.67 to one is considered high. So you can really dive in here and really get the lowest competition, which is really cool. So now that we've sorted, now we are going to filter. So go ahead and click select those columns again, click data, click filter. And now um, I only want searches that are really high, like really high monthly searches. So I'm gonna take out these low ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the 100K to a million, 10K to 100K, and let's go ahead and keep the 1K to 10K. We can always filter it out later if we want to. Click OK. All right, so now we have everything sorted by competition, and then we can we only want the really high average monthly searches. Now, one more thing. Um, not all of these keywords are going to be um, relevant to your blog post, so I probably wouldn't use bread soup. I probably wouldn't use watercress soup, so you get what I'm saying. Make sure you choose obviously a relevant keyword for your blog post, but now you can see which keywords have the lowest competition, and then you can see which of those words have the highest average monthly searches. So I hope that helped, and you definitely need to start using this Google Keywords tool if you haven't already. It's gonna really help you rank higher in search engine results.